Welcome to Bravely Default 2, it's Abyss, and in this video, I'm gonna show you five of the best DPS abilities that you can get early by chapter one. These abilities are so good that you're going to be using them throughout the game and into the post game. All right, the first one is in the freelancer job. You will need to level it up to 11 so that you can unlock the body slam. This will cost one BP to use, but later in the game, there's a passive ability that you can get to make it cost zero. The body slam is great against regular enemies, like if you're just going through a dungeon or out in the open world and bosses. So let me show you some examples. Next up is the Monk, and you will need to level it up to 11 to unlock Pressure Point. The same as Body Slam, it will cost 1 BP to use, and there is a passive ability to get later to make it zero. One of the best things about Pressure Point is it will ignore enemies' default status. Just like the Body Slam, it is great against regular enemies and bosses. Now you get this on your way to the second region just before Chapter 1. I will quickly show you the boss where you're going to get this, and then I will show you some examples. Next up is the Beastmaster and you want to get this to level 2. The abilities you will use is Capture and Off the Leash. Now when you get to chapter 2 in the sewers, you want to capture the monster called the Skeleton Cell Sword. When this monster is released against a boss, it will do 9999 damage, which is the max damage you can do early on. I don't recommend using this against regular enemies, you want to save these for the boss fights, plus it doesn't need to be your main DPS character, it will work just the same on another character like your healer. I will quickly show you the boss where you're going to get this, and then I will show you some examples. Next is a thief and you will need to get it to level 9 to unlock Godspeed Strike. Slightly different from the others because it will acquire 95 MP. This is one of the hardest hitting abilities out of all of them. The damage you do on an enemy will apply again after some time has passed. I don't recommend using this against regular enemies. You want to save this for the boss fights, especially the ones late in the game. The thief is one job you should have all your characters fully leveled up with, mainly for the ability to steal rare items. I will quickly show you the boss where you're going to get this from, and then I will show you some examples. Next is the Gambler, and you will need to get it to level 3 to unlock Flash to Cash. This one is definitely different from the others because you will spend money to do damage to the target. This ability is one I would not have on your main DPS characters, but it's perfect for your healer to help out during the fight. This one can be expensive to use, but I never ran into any issue with money in the game. I will quickly show you the boss where you get this from, and then I will show you some examples. Money will buy you anything you like. Clothes, jewels, the lo ah! It's now or never! I'm sorry. 
Sorry, Mona. Huh? It's now or never! Brace yourself! Okay, so a bonus tip. You're going to need to get your bard to level 8 to unlock Hurt So Bad. This will help increase your party's damage. Extremely useful against bosses, especially late in the game. Alright, there you have it. Those are the 5 best DPS abilities that you can get early by Chapter 1. If there's anything else you would like to add, then please leave it in the comments down below. But other than that, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support the channel. And I will see you next time.